Oh my goodness. Hi ladies. Hi Senna friends because I don't really know if there are men in here so I'm going to say hi Senna friends. I am so nervous. So so nervous to be training in this group for those of you that do not know me. My name is Rachel Johnson. Um, I have, I'm shaking you guys. I am shaking. I have been a distributor since March of 2019. Um, just to give you a little backstory on me. Like I said, I joined March of 2019. Um, I was actually able to go full time and quit my normal, regular, whatever you want to call it, my normal job, April of 2020. Um, I am a duchess in the company, um, and I am also the new New York State leader. So if you are catching the replay of this video, I, I always forget to do this. If you are catching the replay of this video, drop me the lipstick emoji. Drop me the lipstick emoji in the comments. So um, I have two questions for you before I jump into my training, and I do have notes so I will probably be looking down just so that I stay on track with what I'm talking about. Hi, Ashley. I'm going to swipe the comments because if I don't, I'm going to squirrel and I'm going to be paying attention to the comments. So I will come back through when I'm done and reread all of the comments. So um, I have two questions for you after you drop the lipstick emoji. Drop that first and then answer these two questions. What is your top selling product and why is it your top selling product? Um, and then what is something that you would like to sell more of and why do you think you don't really sell the product? And I'm going to come back to that later on um, towards the end. So we all know that the four pillars of our business is wowing, booking, demoing, and directing. And what I'm going to talk to you guys about today kind of ties into two of those pillars. So wowing and demoing, basically. So I'm talking to you guys about, oh, I should have brought something up to drink. I'm talking to you guys about being a product of the product. You really can't wow and you really can't demo if you are not using the products, if you are not showing yourself using the products by either going live, posting selfies, posting pre-recorded videos, or sharing in your stories. Um... So, like I said, I have notes, you guys, so that I don't squirrel. So, how do you become a product of the product? You go live, you post videos, you share selfies, and you post in your stories. Sounds easy, right? Like, it sounds super easy, but how many of those are you doing on a daily basis? How many of those are you doing on a weekly basis? Um... We are essentially the face of the company, which I love. I love that about this company. As a distributor, you are a walking, talking advertisement for this company. The company's not paying celebrities or actors or um, other influencers to promote the product. You are doing it. They are paying you to do it. Um, so I'm just going to go over a couple things that we should be doing on a regular basis within our business to be a product of the product. So if I were to, would have popped on here live, not wearing anything, would you take me seriously on this training being a product of the product? If I didn't have anything on, would you look at me and be like, Okay, I'm going to listen to her. I think she knows what she's talking about. No, it's the same thing for your customers. If you aren't regularly showing your face and regularly demoing the products, they are not going to take you seriously in your business. So 
the first one and the one that always gets people, and I know it got me when I first signed up, was going live. I flat out told my upline, I will never go live. And now look at me. <laughs> I told her I would never go live. But when I first started, I really thought that going live was always the same thing. You always went live to just do your makeup. That's what you did. You went live to just do your makeup. But that's not always the case. You can go live about just about anything as long as you are showing the product in some way. So obviously going live to do like a get ready with me, that's going to be your number one thing to go live on. And I know when I was working my full-time job, I went live just about every day on my work, my lunch break, to do my makeup. Whether it was like 15 minutes, whether it was 20 minutes, whether it was a half hour, I knew that I was going live at the same time every day when I was working to do my makeup. But it doesn't just have to be makeup, and it doesn't have to be a full face of makeup every time. You can do targeted um things, specific things. Like you could have your base face done and go live to demo a eyeshadow look, or you can go live to demo a new lip sense color that comes out. You can go live to do your skincare. Skincare. Like I would have never thought about that when I first started to just go live and wash my face. Do you go live to take your makeup off? Are you demoing our makeup removers, the Foops remover, the amazing, amazing melt away um, cleansing balm? Like, are you going live to demo those products? Um, and you don't always have to be doing something. You can go live and do an unboxing and show your customers a new product that you just got and you are excited to use. Um, so that is... Going live, that is like number one. But I know life happens. Life happens and there may be days where you just can't fit alive in your schedule. So that's when this next one comes in. Pre-recorded videos. So have you ever just sat down to do your makeup, not live, and just recorded it? Recorded it edited it so that you could use it later on in your group. Or maybe you're just putting on a lip sense color or demoing an eyeshadow look or teaching a new technique or trick that you learned with the products. Record it, speed it up, and save it to post in your group on a day that you might not be able to go live. Or save it to post in a face part, Facebook party group or in your stories, which we will talk about later on. Okay, let's see. Um, sped up videos. Um, wow videos fall under sped up videos. So are you doing your live videos? Are you wearing your swatches and rubbing them to show that they don't come off? Are you doing the, the lip rub to show that the products don't come off? Are you doing it with your shadows? Those things literally take seconds, you guys. And you can hammer out a bunch of those in one setting. So a pro tip is that when you do like a really nice makeup look, if you do a makeup look that you just absolutely love, it just came out amazingly, Take multiple selfies of that makeup look. Just change your top, change the way that your hair is, maybe have your glasses on, take your glasses off, put a different gloss over the lip sense that you're wearing so that you have multiple posts, either through selfies or videos, that you can use and spread them out. And they don't need to know that it was done in one day using the same makeup look. You can batch your content that way to share in your group at a later date or in your stories or in your parties or whatever the case may be. The next is selfies. Selfies, you guys. Selfies sell. Selfies sell our products. Like I said, we are the billboard for our products. So I want you at some point today... When you get off of here, 
I want you to scroll through your customer group. Maybe for like the last week or two, just scroll through your customer group. How often do you see your face? And just think about that. How often do you see your face? If it's mostly graphics, sales posts, or somebody else's selfie, that makes it very difficult for your customers to like, know, and trust you if all you are posting are graphics, sales posts, and pictures of other people. Now, obviously, you need those things. You need those things, but that should not be the majority of your customer group. Your customers are going to like, know, and trust you by seeing the products on your face. I don't know about you, but I know in the three years, almost three years that I've been doing this, I've had several people, several people reach out to me and say they were waiting to place an order because they wanted to make sure I was actually using the products that I was talking about and that I was going to stick with the products that I was talking about. They didn't want somebody that's just pushing products on them that they weren't actually using and then when it doesn't work they were they were just done with it like raise your hand if you've ever gotten a message like that anything that it was regarding waiting to purchase from you because they wanted to see if you actually used the products like you said you did and if you're not showing your face you're not proving that you are using the products selfies sell Selfies sell. Um, and selfies, like just like with lives, selfies don't have to always be a full face of makeup. I thought when I started this that my customers didn't want to see me with just a lip sense on or just mascara on or just a gloss on. They want to see you. It doesn't matter what you have on. They want to see you. So whether you're posting a selfie after you do your skincare and you're like, I just can't believe how amazing my face feels after using blah, 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 whether it's like the detox mask or facial resurfacer, um, posting a selfie using a new lip sense color, or if you have a really good lash day and you just want to show it off. Take a wow video or a selfie and just be like, oh my gosh, look at my lashes. I cannot believe this mascara actually helps to grow my natural lashes. Selfies sell, you guys. And then the last one that I have for you um, is we talked about, I just want to make sure I missed, I didn't miss anything. Lives, sped up videos, selfies, and oh, stories, stories. Oh boy, I had it written down. Stories. Okay, so how many of you do stories? Are you just posting like memes in there? Are you sharing selfies in there? Are you sharing wow videos in there? Um, I know for me personally, I thought that if I was posting in my customer group, that was enough. Like I didn't want to feel like I was posting all over the place. Like I didn't want to be that person, but just think about it. Are all of your Facebook friends in your customer group? Probably not. So why can't you take everything that you do in your customer group? Not everything, but why can't you take the selfie that you just posted in your customer group and post it in your stories? Why can't you take that that wow video that you just posted in your customer group and post it in your stories? Um, why can't you sp take that sped up video and post it in your stories? That's giving you the ability to touch people that are not in your customer group. I know I personally don't have every single friend that I have on Facebook in my customer group. And people aren't stalking your customer group. I don't know what it is about stories. It's kind of like TikTok. It sucks people in. It sucks people in. I have more people see my stuff that I post in my stories than I do in my customer group. 
So there is no reason why you can't utilize the stuff that you are posting in your customer group and post it in your stories. So one of the questions that I asked in the beginning of this was, what was the product that you wished you could sell more of or you see somebody selling it, but you just don't, you just, you just don't sell it. So for me personally, it was our concealers. I didn't sell them because I didn't use them. I didn't demo them. I didn't talk about them because honestly, I wasn't a fan of them. My personal opinion, I was not a fan of the original concealers. So then when we got our new ones, we got our new ones, I purchased them and I went live and I demoed them. I talked about them. I gave my customers my honest review of the product while I was live. And I had two people just from that one live using the concealers one time go on my website and order concealer. It's very hard to sell a product that you are not talking about. There are several products that I use, but I don't talk about it. And then there are products that I don't use, so therefore I don't talk about them. So my challenge to you is I want you to pick a product, either something that you don't use, try it, give a review of it. So go live, post a selfie, do a sped up video, post in your stories, or pick a product that you use on a regular basis that you just don't talk about it and do the same thing and see what happens. See if you get somebody to purchase that product because you're talking about it. You're giving your honest opinion. I give my honest opinion on products even if I'll just tell my customers I don't use it. But this is what so-and-so says. I don't use it, but this is what so-and-so says. But that is my challenge to you. Pick a product, either something that you are not familiar with or something that you use on a regular basis, but you just don't talk about it a lot, and demo it. Go live, post a selfie, do a sped up video, share in your stories, and see what happens.